Hello, 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 my fabulous friends. Welcome back to my channel. It is so wonderful to see you guys again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, it's good to see you. Welcome. Come on in, pull up a chair, have a seat, make yourself comfy, break out your whip and chat while I'm working on this. If you don't know what a whip is, it's a work in progress. Uh, this is an unboxing. My bad. Not a whipping chat. Yes, I just woke up working on my coffee, and I figured that I'm a little bit behind, so I thought I'd crank out this unboxing here. I had to get me a sip of coffee there. Sorry about that. Uh, I am unorganized today. So, anyway, this as you guys might say, oh my gosh, is not a Diamond Art Club. No, it is not. I have been looking for, um, I got some recommendations uh, from people saying, hey Nix, you know, I, I, I need budget friendly. I need budget friendly. And I, I, I hear you. I heard you. I'm listening. So, um... I have literally been looking around and looking around, talking to all my friends. Hey, do you know any good companies that are budget friendly and, you know, have good products and don't take forever to get here? So, uh, I was talking to my friend, my fabulous friend, Joy Martin, and her YouTube video, uh, her YouTube channel is Diamond Painting with Joy. I will have all the information listed below. Click the show more button right under my name on the left hand side of the page and everything will come pop down in a box for you and all the links will be there. But anyway, I was talking to my friend Joy and she goes, hey, I'm in this diamond painting group and they're having a uh, paint along. Uh, uh, um, um, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember what they call them. Um, it's an event uh, where everybody um, buys the same. Uh, it was called Happy Fall Diamond Painting Event. And a lady held it for a certain amount of time. And then uh, at the end, everybody showed pictures of what they had done. And they um, there was a drawing for everybody that, you know, did this and entered into it. So, the fabulous lady's name is Carol Everett, okay? And she has the Facebook group, uh, Confident and Creative. And she also owns a diamond painting company called Diamond Painting Bling Art. So, and that's where this come from. So, my fabulous friend Joy goes, hey, I'm doing this, and uh, I'm in this group, and this painting is really good price, and she goes, it's very, very nice canvas, and it's good quality, and hey, Nix, go check it out. Now, I have to admit, I am not uh, t participating in the event. However, I seen uh, Joy's unboxing of this, or her paint along of this and the canvas looked really good quality looked really good and it was like okay i've been looking for one of these so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick me up a copy now for me this is snack size but again you guys i am bringing this to you because it is budget friendly and it uh, from all understandings, thus far, is a good quality, okay? So, uh, you know me, I'm, I'm not going to lie about it. How many unboxings have I done that turned out to be poopy? And, you know, it was like, okay, not, not doing that no more. But, anyway, um, so, oh, whew, that wasn't cool. Uh, let me move all this out of the way here. Don't wanna. As you can see, guess what? I got a new desk. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's eight foot long, 
and it is almost, I think, four foot wide, five foot wide. So I love it. So I apologize, my mat is not exactly square in frame. Um, I just haven't finished setting up the desk yet. But today is Tuesday. Uh, kind of more like Wednesday, but I'm a little bit behind. But hey, as long as you guys get a video, y'all will be happy. And again, this come from DiamondPaintingBlingArt.com. She is out of Las Vegas. This is not drop ship from China either. This comes literally from her hands to yours. So, um, anyway, this is it. It come in this come in this bag. Um, I was not worried about it at all due to the fact of the type of canvas that it is. Uh, so, and it looks like it's a nice size too. So let's get into this and see what we've got. So this is kind of an unboxing and a whipping chat all in the same time. So y'all call it whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take and put that to the side here. Now, I'm going to roll this backwards. Um, well, it was. Let's see. Oh. Let's do it this way. I'm not used to these little bitty snack sizes, so I'm a little discombobulated. But it's a very nice canvas so far. Oh, I like this. Alright, now this is the first time that I have bought from this company. I did not know about this company two weeks ago. So, uh, Miss My Fabulous Joy told me about it. And so, I, like I said, I popped over. Oh, how cute. Okay, you get, look at this. This is a personal touch. You can tell... That this is not a uh, drop ship, you know, from China. That this literally come from her, directly from her company. Because of, look at the little purple bag, purple mesh bag. That is, uh, uh, trust me, I make a lot of these for Nix's Notions. This is a definitely personal touch. And it comes with beautiful washi tape. Man, I'm going to have to get with her to find out where she buys her washi tape from. Comes with your uh, glittery uh, diamond painting pen. It has a four placer on it. Uh, that could be a two placer. Kind of be a two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a three placer on this one. It also has two more Wow, okay. It comes with your scrunchie that goes on the pen to help help your fingers out when you for diamond painting for long periods of time. And check this out. You even get you don't get the old square block of wax, you get check it out, look at this. And there's three in there. Okay, how cool is that? This is definitely personal touch here. You get extra baggies, which is good. And you also get your little white boat. Or some call them MOSFA. MOSFA boat. I think MOSFA is the correct word. It used to have a name on the back of it. But anyway, yes, that is a great little diamond painting kit there. Now, as you know, guys, one, my channel is for new people that are just starting out. So I go slow. I explain everything. Uh, two, um, like I've said many, many times, uh, as you've seen in the beginning, I love my diamond painting pen by TJ. However, as you can see in this kit here, you do not need a big fancy smancy pen or any other accessories to do a diamond painting. Because when you buy a diamond painting, everything should be included in that kit. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to Carol Everett, the owner of uh, Diamond Painting Bling Art, for the extra little touches. Those are greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, to... Oh, here's her card. 
it was sticky on there. Okay. There we go. Let me see if I can get you a little closer here. Uh, I want you all to see this. Uh, there we go. It's a little hard to read due to the font on the card. But again, I will have all of her information listed down below. Okay? So, um, yeah, that is, that is her card right there. Um, and here's your drills. Oh, wow, they're baggy. Look at this, look at this, and look at all those ABs. Wow, okay. And it comes with a drill sheet. So we'll get into that in a minute. Let's take a look at our kit. Now, as you can tell, this has been serrated and sewn. We love these. Also, two guys, it's got that felt backing on it. Love, 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 love that. You know me, that's part of the reason why I buy from Diamond Art Club is do that fat, the fat, huh, that felt backing. Because it literally makes your canvases bulletproof. Seriously. It really does. I, I don't know what the little felty stuff does, but it literally makes your canvases bulletproof. So, so far, hey, we're doing really good. Also, too, this is, um, da -da -da -da, there we go. Hey, check out my big old fancy desk here. I can get it all in one shot, just about it. Okay, so far, we're look other than the fact that I am not used to these little bitty snack sizes. Oh, how cute. I like this. It, it, it says, Happy Fall, y'all. And it's the gnome. Uh, and over here, it's got diamonds on the side, uh, side of the canvas. It's Diamond Painting Bling Art. So, that's another good thing because it has her name on it. Let's see. Over here on the right-hand side, on the top, you have your schematics. I will pull you down in a little bit, and we'll take a look at those. Down at the bottom, it's got all of her information. Uh, her internet information. DiamondPaintingBlingArt.com here is uh, her Facebook.com, DP Bling Art. I don't think I have followed that yet. I gotta go. I didn't know she had that one. So I will definitely have to go and check that out and click that like button. Over here is the... I'm not sure what this... Okay, is Wow. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to take the glasses off for this one. Uh, the name is Happy Fall. Happy Fall. Uh, the shape is square diamonds. And the size is 30 by 40 centimeters. Okay. Yeah, I'm nearsighted, so I'd take the glasses off. Um, over here on the bottom left, you've got another schematic with the photo as well. How cool is that? Okay, let me get my ruler here. Yep, I haven't used this thing in a long time. Let me get my ruler here and let's see. It says that it's 30 by 40, so let's see what the drill field is. Alright, uh, that's inches. Here we go. Alright, on the centimeter drill field is... Oh my goodness, check that out. Okay, I am really, really liking this company because normally when they say that it is a 30 by 40, like if you buy something from Amazon or from AliExpress or what have you, there is a difference, okay? Not talking about the companies, I'm talking about the paintings themselves because you have to read uh, because when they go, it's a 30 by 40, they can say that it's 30 inches by 30 inches and 40 inches by 40 from top to bottom, left to right, okay? However, you want the drill field from this side to this side, here to here, to be the 30 by 40. 
So you have to watch that because that's one of the things. Now, I'm loving this canvas. So far, I am really, really loving this canvas. And I, I might have me a new store to buy from. And way, way, way cheaper. So, uh, yeah, the drill field is 30. Let's turn it to the side here. Let's see if it's 40. Yep, it's 40. It is 30 by 40. So, it is true to the canvas size measurements, or true to the drill field. Drill field is this here. And this is a full canvas, okay? Full canvas means that you've got drills all over this. It's not just in one little area. That is called a partial. So, anyway... Uh, this is 30 by 40 on the drill field here. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. Okay, let's check the tacky here. Whew. Okay, really, really, really good stick. Now, one thing that I want you guys to remember, I've said this in, in quite a bit of my videos, but I'm going to say it again. See how this has got this clear canvas, a clear cellophane on the top of it. There is a right side and a wrong side to this cellophane. Trust me. So when you get your canvases, if it's got cellophane on it, take a, a, a sticker or a sharpie or, 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 or washi tape or something and put on the top. That way you know the front from the back. Okay, because I have, I, I don't know what the difference is with this, but I have accidentally put the front onto the canvas, and I didn't think I was going to get it off. Now, it may be just me, but I'm just saying, guys, you might want to, you might want to somehow or another mark the front of your, your, your cellophane here so you don't get it mixed up. Uh, a lot of people grid off their canvases. Some people do, some people don't. I kind of like to. It helps me out a little bit. Which, by the way, let me check here. Okay. You know why people you started using washi tape? Because your sticky comes out further than your drill area. Okay, so when you were doing this, what would happen is your arm or your shirt or what have you would get stuck in that extra little over-the-line sticky. So everybody started putting pretty little washi tape on here to cover up the sticky part on the outside of the lines. And then you can take and put your washi on top of the cellophane and then cut it out in sections. Now, if you're very, very busy and have a busy life, okay, and only can only do so many things, at, you know, little sections at a time, then grid it off small. It's not a race. It's, it's how much enjoyment that you get out of doing the project, okay? So, don't rush. I mean, there's no need to rush. So, me personally, I grid off big. But then I have marathon diamond paintings. I diamond paint for two and three days straight. So I normally grid off pretty big. But I would have to say a four by six area, four inch by six inch area is kind of like a, a good size. Um, but yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, I am really, really loving this. Um, now, one more thing. If you purchase a canvas from anybody and it has that white paper, that opaque paper on the front of it, do, uh, do not roll it backwards like I did. You will damage your canvas, okay? Only roll your canvases with the clear cellophane on the front of it. Alright, so let's turn this over and take a look at our drills here. Let's see, um, 310, I do not see a 310 in here. I am unsure if they use DAC code numbers or not. Uh, like I said, I do not see a 310. I'm going to pull you guys down. Hold on, here we go. Don't want nobody to get seasick on me. Because it's easier to move me than it is to move you guys. 
So let me make sure my focus is good here. I'm going to put this back up here so I can make sure i got good focus. Yes, I'm working on new camera equipment. Sorry about that, fellas. Right now, everything's manual. So, all right. Now, if you look, look at that. Look at the clarity of that canvas. There is no fuzzy whatsoever. If you see any type of fuzzy in that canvas, I promise you, it is not the canvas. It is my camera. Over here, you have your your schematics, okay? And there's your there. It's pretty basic. I mean, you've got one through eight, and then you've got A, B, all through X. And then you got a couple of symbols down here at the bottom, and that is possibly ABs. I am not quite sure. Uh, I'm sorry, I am a little lack on information due to the fact that I didn't write anything in my book. Uh, so, however, do not worry. Any information that is needed about this canvas will all be listed below in the information section, okay? So, you guys know me. I, I throw everything but the kitchen sink in that information section. And so, uh, let's turn this over and let's look at some drills. Oh, I love the fact that it's got a got a schematic in here and these are pre-bagged oh my gosh i feel like i have died and gone to heaven i'm not used to pre-bagged drills okay i want to try to keep these in order somewhat let me see if i can slip that out of there okay y'all have to work with me here i'm kind of new to this this uh type of system Okay, uh, it says, Happy Fall, y'all. This is a 30 by 40. Um, okay, they weigh their bags. It tells you how many drills are in each bag. Uh, I cannot believe there's no 310s in this. Um, oh, her numbers are not in... Okay. Oh, no, 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 my bad. I'm looking at quantity, not numbers. <laughs> Um, okay. I got a lot of 720s. Hmm. That look pretty cool to me. I mean, I, I haven't seen an issue, and I love the canvas, and the drills. Okay, now these are ABs. Okay, what is an AB? AB is Aurora Borealis, or it's an iridescent coating that has been put on top of the drills to make them extra shiny. Okay, it kind of gives them that rainbow effect. So, you'll see diamond paintings that'll have two or three or up to seven ABs in them. You'll have some diamond paintings that that's all it is, is an AB. Um, so, but it has that rainbow iridescent coating on there. These drills look really good. There's no holes in the back of them. I don't see any issues. They've got a good feel to them. Um, here's uh, yellow. The yellow ABs. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's a, there's a greeny brown. There's a brown and a red. Uh, I don't see any more. Um, I'm trying to keep these in order. I'm sorry. Okay, 3371. That's kind of like a brown. And then 3799. Uh, I will do a post review on this. This is like, oh goodness, this will take me literally two hours and it'll be finished. Um, yeah, because <laughs> this, this is lunch. This is snack size for me. Uh, but, oh my gosh, this is such a cool, I really, really, really like this. I'm trying to, trying to kind of get this in here for you guys. There we go. How's that? Uh, I'm just having issues tonight. Y'all got to work with me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, their drills are, their drills look really, really good. I, I don't see an issue with, there's no, like, circles on the back. Because, see, that's one thing about it. Sometimes about, uh, now, square drills. I don't know about rounds. I do a lot of squares. 
uh, you'll notice some of the square drills will have little dots on the back of them. Um, again, this was a recommendation by Joy. And uh, this is what um, uh, Carol Everett was doing in her uh, Facebook group, you know. So, uh, her Happy Fall Diamond Painting event. This is what she was using. So, um, it, it nobody's said anything. Everybody loved the kit. You know, everybody said that it was a really great, you know, great kit. So, let me get these moved out of the way. We'll turn it back over and look again. Um, I'm trying not to, I'm not used to them not being all attached into a train, so I don't want to, I don't want to lose a bag. So, but anyway, look at there. Happy fall, y'all. So, I'm going to do this one up really quick. This would be a little snack sizey here. And it's really, really good. So, again, it was by Diamond Painting Bling Art out of Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. The lady's name is, the owner of the company's name is Carol Everett. She has a Facebook group and she also has a Facebook page. So again, all of that information will be listed below in the uh, show more section. So anyway, guys, I think that this is going to be it for me. I try to keep these under about 30 minutes, so I'm going to do my shout-out. So thank you to Jim Weeder and his beautiful, beautiful wife, Kate. Uh, Jim is on vacation or and or traveling this week. Hey, safe journey, Jim. Love you guys. You be safe. Um, thank you to Kendra Francisco and Michelle or e old or e old for buying me five cups of coffee and jim thank you for being a channel supporter a monthly channel supporter uh, oh goodness i cannot talk buy me a copy i need more coffee buy me a coffee channel supporter oh my god i can't spit this out today mm. so anyway Y'all know about all of that. Go go click on the show more button. You'll it's all there. But I did want to say hi to my peeps. Love you guys. You know, I mean, you guys are the best. Thank you to Joy Martin. Make sure you go check out her page. Joy, I love, love, love this kit. Thank you for recommending it to me. Again, guys, go check out her YouTube channel. She is fabulous. Y'all will love her. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I think that is about it. So, anyway, I'm out. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, if this crazy mess of a video helped you out any, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. That way, it, it will let you know when I post more crazy videos at 5 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, this is Nick's Dark Sky saying, be happy, be crafty, and above all else, please, please be kind. It only takes one second of kindness to make somebody's entire day. Okay? Bye, guys. I will catch you on the flip side.